This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 98, Why You Fail to Achieve Your Fitness Goals, by J.C. Dean of jcdfitness.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hey, it's Wednesday. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily. I'm your host and narrator as always, Dr. Neil Malik, where I read to you from some popular health and fitness blogs to help you optimize your health. Now, December is right around the corner, so today is the very last day to be on our mailing list if you want to be in a drawing to win a free book from us. To be a part of that raffle, make sure you're on our email list before midnight tonight. Simply join at oldpodcast.com. I'm going to keep this brief, Let's jump into today's post and start optimizing your life. Why You Fail to Achieve Your Fitness Goals by J.C. Dean of jcdfitness.com Today's article is part one of two. In this first installment, I will address the five most common reasons people are not achieving their fitness goals. We always get results. However, those results are not always the ones we are after. Many times, the results of our actions are negative, leaving us pissed off and ready to give up. I see the same problems on a daily basis, whether it be in the gym or on the message boards I hang around on. It's usually the same old day in and day out. Here are the top five reasons people fail to reach their goals. Number one, your program sucks. Probably the most common mistake I come across is the lack of decent programming. Shoot. Folks could make great progress on a mediocre program if they play the rest of their cards right. From my experience, the same programming works for 95% of the general population. Now, before you threaten to track me down and kick me in the nuts, I know there is always some variability within the individual. However, we are not all unique little snowflakes when it comes to training and diet. I do know there are a small number of freaks out there who can make outstanding progress simply by lifting their toothbrush. However, Chances are, you are not in that small group of people. If you are, congratulations on being a genetic elite. If you are familiar with my philosophies and principles, you know I'm a big believer in strength training and higher frequency, hitting a body part two to three times per week. For newbies, I always recommend starting strength. If you are a newbie and have worked with me, you know a lot about this great program. For intermediates, I recommend different variations of programming depending on your goals. For bodybuilding stuff, I recommend Lyle's bulking routine, dog training, and hypertrophy-specific training, and my own little program that was passed down to me from a great mentor of mine. For strength training, I recommend Bill Starr's 5x5 and Eric Cressy's programming. Two, your diet is terrible. Of course, you can do everything else right, but if you suck at the diet part, none of your efforts will be of any merit. This can go either way, as some people eat too much, but many more I see eat too little. If you do not throw enough coals onto the fire, your furnace will die out. Throw too many on and the fire can get out of control. For lack of better words, a diet must be balanced. If you are not eating the right amount of food to fuel your body or to reach your desired composition, you might as well be punching yourself in the face. Your diet is 80% of the equation and should be tailored to your compositional goals, whether they may be fat loss, weight gain, or maintenance. If you can't get your diet right, pull the plug and forget about it. Three, your trainer is incompetent. Every day, I see trainers who have no business training others. If your trainer has you doing one-legged hops on a BOSU ball with a bar on your back to perform one-legged squats once you land, you need to ask for a refund. On a more serious note, I just read a post on a popular fitness forum that reads, my trainer swears on a diet of no fruit. Obviously, this lady is not trolling and has a legitimate question about what her trainer told her. I'm not surprised by a trainer spouting off voodoo BS, but I am saddened that people believe anything they say because they are supposed to be the authority. Anyhow, if your trainer is incompetent, fire them and find someone else who knows what they are doing. 4. You are obsessive. As for what I mentioned above about the lady who is asking questions about fructose, She has since started two more threads about fruit that are ongoing and full of people explaining that she is overthinking everything. She is afraid that fruit will make her fat, despite being in a caloric deficit. 
Yet again, more bad information continues to float around everywhere, it seems. Being obsessive about fitness goals, meticulously tracking calories and trying to get everything perfect will exhaust you mentally. Being obsessive may also lead to developing some very unhealthy habits and a harsh relationship with food. I would never advise anyone to worry about the minutia. Five, you are impatient. Anything worthwhile takes time and lots of it. JC explained this in an article he wrote on looking for secrets. Being impatient is fine, but letting it sabotage your efforts is not. I am as impatient as they come, but I have learned how to leverage my impatience and use it to my benefit. You just listened to the post titled, Why You Fail to Achieve Your Fitness Goals by JC Dean of jcdfitness.com. I love that JC Dean is emphasizing progress, not perfection, because that's really what it's all about. If you're moving in the right direction, you're doing just fine. You can focus on being perfect a little bit later on, but just focus on moving forward for now, especially as he mentioned for newbies. I also like that he mentioned results and how the results can vary depending on the person. When I train folks, sometimes what happens is I'll train them, they're being consistent, they're doing all the right things, both from a fitness perspective and from their diet perspective. But they're not seeing those results that they wanted. Mostly, they're not losing fat around the abdomen or their hips. Instead, they'll tell me, awesome, Dr. Neil, my watch doesn't fit as well because my wrist got smaller based on your program. Well, unfortunately, that's your genetics and that's where your body chose to lose its fat first. But if we stick to it for long enough, your body will lose the fat from where you want it to most, your abdomen and your hips. It will happen, I promise. But that won't occur unless you stick to it and you just continue to make progress. Now, like I mentioned at the top of the show, today is the last day before the raffle to win a book from us. If you want to be in the drawing, make sure you're on our mailing list before midnight tonight. To get on our mailing list, just visit oldpodcast.com and enter your email address there. You'll get some free spreadsheets from us and you'll be entered automatically for Thursday's drawing. If you can believe it, we've just finished 98 episodes. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I'll see you in about 24 hours where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show, and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.